CAT 22 slot 3 quantitative aptitude question number 2. The minimum possible value of x square minus 6x plus 10 upon 3 minus x for x less than 3 is. Now in order to solve such questions, the first thing you have got to look at is what might be the value of this whole function for this range. Now if you look at the numerator x square minus 6x plus 10 is equal to 0. If you treat this numerator as a quadratic polynomial or maybe a quadratic equation, you will realize that a is equal to 1 which is the coefficient of x square, b is equal to minus 6 coefficient of x and c is equal to 10 and the value of b square minus 4ac. So, minus 6 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 10 is equal to minus 4 which is negative. And if the value is negative, it means that this particular quadratic polynomial is not going to touch the x axis. That means the value of the numerator will always remain positive. Why positive? Because the coefficient of x square is positive. And therefore, if you plot this graph, you will recognize that this quadratic polynomial will always stay above the x-axis. So, I am not going to, going to get into this detail. So, what I have just proved is that the numerator of this particular expression, rational expression is positive. And less than 3, if you look at all values of x less than 3, for all x less than 3, the value of 3 minus x is always going to be greater than 0. So, which means that this polynomial in the given range is always going to be, uh, this rational expression for the given range is always going to be positive. That is the first thing we arrive at the moment we look at this rational expression. The next thing we do is we equate, we say, let us say x square minus 6x plus 10 upon 3 minus x. Let us call this equal to y. So, let us simplify x square minus 6x plus 10 is equal to 3y minus xy. And next, we get x square minus x into 6 minus y plus 10 minus 3y is equal to 0. Now, if y has to have real roots because you are in the options you see all the values are real. So, if y has to be real that means if this expression has to be real it implies that y also has to be real. And if the value of x has to be real what does that mean? Sorry, if the value of x has to be real, it means that b square minus 4ac must be greater than or equal to 0. So, what do you get? Here, the value of b is 6 minus y, in fact, minus of 6 minus y, value of a is plus 1 and value of c is 10 minus 3y. Just putting it as 6 minus y whole square minus 4 into 1 into 10 minus 3y. This should be greater than or equal to 0. So, the value of y should be greater than or equal to 0. Only then, uh, in fact, this expression should be greater than or equal to 0 and we need to find the values of y which will satisfy this. So, what do you get? 36 plus y square minus 12y minus 40 plus 12y is greater than or equal to 0. This cancels out. And finally, you get y plus 2 into y minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So, which means if you plot this on an axis, this is plus 2 and this is minus 2. Since both of them are greater than or equal to 0, you can just plot it in this way. So, for all values greater than 2, this expression is going to be positive. 
for all values less than 2, this expression is going to be positive, less than minus 2 in fact. So, we are not worried about this. So, now what do you do? You are required to calculate the minimum possible value. The minimum possible positive value is 2 and therefore, the minimum value of y is 2 and therefore, the minimum value of this expression also should be 2 and which is your answer.